President and Cabinet, Dr. Martin Rushwaya, as so represented. The Acting Board Chairman, National Oil Infrastructure Company of Zimbabwe, Air Vice Marshal Retired, I. R. H. Ganze. Allow me to ride on all protocols already pronounced. Your Excellency, it is indeed a great honor, indeed a privilege, to convey my sincere gratitude and appreciation to you for officiating at this auspicious occasion of the commissioning of the Mabuku Ethanol Storage Facility. Today's proceedings, Your Excellency, reinforce your game-changing and hands-on leadership aimed at modernizing and industrializing our economy as we move towards Vision 2030, aimed at delivering an upper-middle income society. Your Excellency, under your astute leadership, you have prioritized energy security as a key enabler in a leapfrogging economy and development. The ethanol storage tanks you have commissioned today ensure an interrupted supply of ethanol for petrol blending and subsequently reducing the demand for foreign currency. Your Excellency, today's event comes ahead of the 2023 United Nations Climate Change Conference, COP28, taking place next week, next month. It is a clear demonstration of the commitment by your government to reduce carbon footprints by promoting green energy. We are forever grateful, Your Excellency, for your visionary leadership. Honorable Vice President, we thank you for your consistent and unwavering support to His Excellency and to the Ministry of Energy and Power Development, which fall under your purview as delegated by His Excellency, our President. You have shown the zeal in leading his efforts to achieve energy self-sufficiency as so directed. Allow me to thank the Minister of Energy and Power Development, Honorable Edgar Moyo, the Permanent Secretary, Dr. Engineer Gloria Magombo, Acting Board Chairman, National Oil Infrastructure Company of Zimbabwe Air Vice Marshal, retired I. R. H. Ganze, and the CEO, Mr. Matukeni. You have made the country proud by powering Zimbabwe to prosperity. The new asset commissioned here today was constructed under watch and guidance, and it is a test testament to your commitment to duty. Nika inu wakwa, newe newae. Nika inu tongwa, newe newae. Nika inu namatirwa, newe newae. I would also want to thank our technical team, consulting engineers, our invited guests, stakeholders, and those working behind the scenes for working diligently for this function to come into fruition. Once again, thank you, Your Excellency, for gracing this occasion and steering our beautiful Zimbabwe forward. I 